So this question says, in the equation ax plus 3 squared equals 36, a is a constant. If x equals negative 3 is one solution to the equation, what is a possible value of a? So first of all, I'm going to categorize this question as a simplify question. Remember, simplify questions are between 1 and 3 lines long. They will always contain either an equation or an expression. So in this case, we have our equation. But there's a little bit more to it than just simplifying because we also have this x equals negative 3 provided. So uh, there's another strategy that I like to use called plug-in information from question or, or otherwise known as PIQ, plug-in info from question. So anytime I have a simplified question, I start off by rewriting or writing down, I should say, the equation or expression provided. So in this case, we have ax plus 3 squared equals 36. I'm going to then simplify this by square rooting both sides. So uh, when I square root the left side, basically the squared there goes away, leaving me with just ax plus 3. And when I square root the right side, this is going to be plus or minus 6. So don't forget, it's not just positive 6, it's plus or minus 6. So next, I am going to subtract 3 from both sides. And what I'm left with is a x equals, now again, this is going to be like a plus or minus 6 minus 3, which means I could have, if it were positive 6 minus 3, I'd get a positive 3. If it were negative 6 minus 3, I'd get a negative 9. So I really have two equations. I have a x equals 3, and I have a x equals negative 9. Now let's not forget, we also know that x equals negative 3 is a solution. So um, that tells me, what does that tell me? So that tells me if this, if x equals negative 3 came from this equation, that would give me a negative 3a equals positive 3, leaving me with the a equals negative 1. If the x equals negative 3 is the solution that comes from this equation, then I would have instead a negative 3a equals negative 9, divide that by negative 3, and I'd have an a equals positive 3. So those are my two possible a values. When I go up to my answer choices, I see that the only one listed is negative 1. Therefore, that must be the correct answer. So a lot of students who make a mistake on this are going to forget the plus or minus. So please don't forget that. Anytime you're simplifying and you need to square root both sides of an equation, you're going to need to use the plus or minus. Okay. And then just like having this ability to rewrite uh, the plus or minus separately, right? So our positive six minus three, as well as our negative six minus three, and then just breaking down those e equations into, into two separate equations becomes very helpful here.